Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Zalkanon, and welcome back to another episode of Smite Pros and Cons. In this series, if you're not familiar with the series, I'll be taking a god and or goddess and kind of giving you my opinions on their pros and cons. And yeah, just keep in mind, it's just all my opinions. Feel free to let me know uh, what you think about that god or goddess in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And let's get a move on. I'm trying to get this series kind of short, so I won't take you guys' time so much and try to just get quickly onto the, the key points here. So, we're going to start with the pros of Poseidon. Uh, we're going to start in order of 1 to 3, or 1 to 4 actually, that uh, makes no sense, 1 to 3, but uh, from 1 to 4, so we're going to start with this title search, which is his 1, which is this little blob here. Uh, the pros of that is the knockback for sure. Now, since he has no real good escape besides his movement speed, uh, it's really good to have that to knock enemies away from you that are just too close and up into your face, and at the same time dealing moderate damage. Now, as far as clearing minions, um, early on it's not the best compared to other mages, so you kind of have to combo it with, you know, basic attacking with your two or just you know regular basic attacks which is not that fast at all uh, more so people combo it with the whirlpool as far as trying to clear minions uh, quickly now moving on to the pros of his two um, uh, trident <laughs> uh, some some reason I forgot the name trident uh, which it, the pros of it he has a you know uh, quite a bit of pros to his trident now let's go by trident it allows you to build a certain way if you want to um, as you can see here, it shoots three basic attacks instead of one, and it kind of scales off of uh, magical power. Uh, I'll pull up here in a second, and he should be dead. All right, so the trident here. Poseidon activates trident, granting movement speed and taking or and making his basic attacks fire two additional shots and spread for six seconds. The shots deal magical damage plus twenty percent of Poseidon's magic power. All shots increase Poseidon's title uh, tight on each successful hit. So it does really, really good damage if you, you know, start putting points into it. And it, as you can see, uh, some people do build that way. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Some people, uh, mostly the new people of Poseidon, they build more magical power oriented. Uh, some of the higher level people uh, will try to go with more of, you know, building off Trident, which is really cool to see and do. Uh, you, you know, you move really fast with the movement speed buff, uh, but that's getting nerfed by 10% on the patch. Uh, if you're watching from the future, high future, but um, right now it's, you know, this set amount number plus that set number. So this set's going to be reduced by 10% up here, the high tide speed, and then Trident's going to get nerfed by about 10% as well. Uh, so, I mean, it lasts for six seconds, so that's really cool, uh, but it really allows you to kind of custom build them, uh, more movement speed, attack speed oriented, and just go off Trident. Moving on to Poseidon's three here. Uh, his three is really, really nice. Uh, the, well, Majority is nice about it. Uh, it sucks people in, you know, kind of into the center, so they, they kind of, you know, move at a slower pace. Uh, and you know, as you can see, you can kind of group his minions together so you can follow up with your, you know, your one if you're not that powerful yet. Um, but yeah, the main thing is it cripples people. Now, mostly your, you know, your three is used to combo up with other abilities, such as, you know, dropping your Kraken in the middle, um, mainly because your Kraken does more damage in the center. Uh, you can also combo, you know, your general basic attacks with Trident, uh, and or, you know, combo it with your one, your Tidal Surge, uh, to further knock them. Now, you can also combo, you know, your your one and three by pushing them into the, the Whirlpool if they're not yet in it. That's a really cool technique to use. Uh, it, although kind of difficult, uh, depending where they're standing, but besides the fact, it's a really cool combo. So that's the main thing is, allows, for, you know, really good um, cripple and team fights, definitely. Uh, it's it's just all about the cripple damage wise. It's it's mediocre now moving on to the Kraken on the other hand the Kraken is really really cool for various reasons uh, So the pros of the Kraken is the amount of damage it does is really really good, and it's a really huge um, overall damage and so really you know disrupts team fights and if you land a good Kraken, you know most likely you know, your team's going to be uh, coming out on top of that team fight. Uh, so, I mean, it, it takes a lot of room um, in, you know, in a team fight. And also, speaking of room, uh, if you notice his three and his uh, Kraken, they, they take up quite a bit of space, especially in the, you know, lanes like this. As you see, you know, it's the size of the lane. Uh, his three takes up majority of the lane. So that's really cool. 
Uh, he has really nice, large AoEs. So, back on topic of the Kraken, it also, as you can see here, are bouncing to the air and are stunned. Stunned for quite a while and slowed by 30%. So, I mean, that's really good CC. You can call him, you know, a CC mage, ideally. He has three CCs, his one, three, and four. Uh, so, it's really nice. I mean, it kind of makes up for having no escapes. Now, moving into the cons of Poseidon, obviously, he has no real escapes besides the movement speed and, you know, knockbacks. Uh, which you can you can argue, which that kind of makes up for everything, makes up as his escape. Uh, but kind of moving on with that, his one, uh, it it moves. Oh, okay, it moves at a slower pace. Uh, so that's a perfect you know example of calming your abilities all together. Just you know smash your one through four and you'll win <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so like his one, it's a slow moving um, ability, like I mentioned before. So sometimes people can. Majority, majority of the time, people kind of juke out of the way. Uh, but if you're finding people that don't know how to juke too well, you know you can obviously land it. Um, but besides that, it does go through walls, as seen there. So that's really nice. So moving on with the cons of us too. Uh, no real cons besides the cooldown is quite lengthy if you don't get cooldown reduction. Now, if you want to, you know, kind of work around your two, eh, you're gonna have to build some cooldown reduction items. So that kind of sucks. But it, you know, it's a balancing factor. Moving on to cons of us three. The cons of this 3 is not too much, besides it does, like I said earlier, it does mediocre damage. Not that great uh, of damage dealer, it's more of just a cripple oriented um, ability. So that's the only really downside to that. Uh, besides, you know, people in that... Some people, like, don't comp, like make use out of it uh, once it lands on multiple enemies, you know. You don't want to let them slide around, or, or get away, rather, to say. Uh, you kind of make use, like, okay, they're, they're crippled. I can probably try aiming my wand just like that, and you're good to go. Now, moving on to the, the cons of the Kraken, is it has a really short center, which does most of the damage. Now, if they're caught on the outside of it, it barely does any damage at all. It you can you know you can survive uh, outside of you know the little circle. Uh, as you see here, the damage difference is quite a bit. So let's wrap it up for the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.